Is it possible to spend one day in the world's most expensive city for only $20? New York is officially the most expensive city in the world. So in this video, I wanted to see if it's possible to have a good time with only $20 by including food, activities, and even drinks within this budget. Let's head to our first spot. So we just got here to Roosevelt Island and we're going to take the Roosevelt Island tram over the East River to Manhattan. It's a beautiful way to see the city. I've never done it. It only costs $2.75. So I'll tell you some fun facts about Roosevelt Island. Okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> All right, Roosevelt Island used to be an asylum. It was called Welfare Island in the early 1900s because this is literally where they had a uh, hospital for those that had um, smallpox, I believe it was. So this is a place that people did not want to live at all. And today it's actually all luxury apartment buildings. It's funny how things change in the city. Boom, that's your history for you today. For more history, join one of my tours. <laughs> Okay, now actually let's go. All right, so now we're just waiting for the tram. If you already have a physical Metro card, then this ride is $2.75. But if you need to get a physical Metro card, then it's gonna be $3.75. Not gonna lie, it's not a fast way to get around, but it probably, hopefully, is a beautiful way to get around for only $2.75. Or $3.75 compared to my Metro card. I'm fine though. It's Oh, this is actually really nice. This is beautiful. It kind of reminds me of a gondola. If you've ever been in a gondola for skiing, that's exactly what it's like. You go literally right along the Queensboro Bridge over the East River, and it's just, you can't get views like this anywhere else in the city, even if you were in a helicopter. Because a helicopter, you can't get in between buildings like this. You know what, I bet the best time to do this is sunset. I think that's the move sunset or at night even is probably amazing. The tram operator says nighttime is the best. He, he, he does it all day. <laughs> we need to know where do you go to the bathroom. This is important research. Yeah. In the bottle? <laughs> We're gonna walk to Pizza Park. It's a seven minute walk. We're obviously walking it because I'm not trying to spend any more money. So far today we've spent $2.75. I'm here at Pizza Park. We need lunch, but we can't have an expensive lunch. And pizza is a great option in New York. There's so many amazing pizza places. Honestly, you can't really go wrong with pizza here unless you go to, you know, like a main pizza place like Pizza Hut. Like, what are you doing? Okay, we're gonna do pizza by slice because that's gonna be the cheapest option. We have it. Lunch for $2.99. That's pretty good. Yeah, it is pretty big. I this is definitely enough for me to be satisfied. You know what's free? This. It's free and it adds flavor, I'll take it. What other flavor? Oh, we have this one, free 99. And because I didn't buy a drink, I save money and I have my water, which is refillable because tap water in New York is actually really safe to drink. It's actually one of the best tap waters in the world. Oh my God, hot. <laughs> it's a thin crust, which is the New York style. Crispy, yet a little chewy. You got that nice sauce, a little spice from the toppings I added. For $2.99, that's solid. That's solid right there. So we've had like two activities now. We didn't even really go over six bucks. That pizza was really good actually, especially for $2.99. Now I found a luxury experience for us to do for zero dollars. It's on 61st and Madison. So we're gonna walk there. Let's go. It's the Louis Vuitton exhibit. Yes, a free Louis Vuitton experience. It's weird because <laughs> nothing's free at Louis Vuitton. Let's be honest, everything is expensive. One time I went in there, I saw a keychain. It was $200 and I'm like, what? So I was shocked when I learned that this is actually completely free and this is in celebration of Louis Vuitton's 200th birthday. Even though this is free, you still need to reserve tickets for it. So you can get it the day of, honestly. Just go on the website. I'll put it right here. All right, hello. And they have free coat check. How great is that? This exhibit has 200 artists that designed trunks like Louis Vuitton. This is the original Louis Vuitton trunk. That's what made Louis Vuitton so famous. Let's go inside and check it out. Okay, ready, go. Boom, 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 boom. And we're walking, we're walking, we're stopping, we're turning. A 
and going back in. <laughs> every room and every trunk is designed by a completely different artist. They even have artists as young as, uh, I believe they have a 13 year old that designed a trunk. Lucas, you want this? I know you want this because you always pay for overpriced Supreme. It was the L LD escalator. Everyone's always like, oh, New York is so expensive. Well, guess what? It's possible to do it for cheap too. Okay, you can have luxury experience. I'm still talking. I'm going on my rant. You can have, oh. <laughs> so this is like the room. It's like you're inside of the balloon trunk and then you have the actual balloon trunk here. This right here is actually floating. It's actually floating. They use, apparently the artist used two like magnets at the end of the exhibit. You can actually design your own Louis Vuitton trunk. We're gonna do it. <laughs> Take one of these boxes, right? You take one of these and you can design your own Louis Vuitton trunk. You have these workstations here and that is zero dollars. So we have done all these activities and so far we have not even spent six dollars. You're welcome. Also, I feel like I'm killing it at this challenge again so far. Let's go to our next location though. All right, it's freezing today and uh, we walked up here to 81st Street and Fifth Avenue to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, which is one of the most famous museums in the world. It is the largest art museum in the United States. It has two million pieces of art spanning 5,000 years. Fun fact, yeah. Sarah, yeah. I've never been here. Are you serious? It's $30 per ticket normally, unless you are a New York State resident or a New York, New Jersey, or Connecticut student. Then it is pay what you wish. In addition to your museum ticket, you'll also get a ticket to the Met Cloisters, which specializes in medieval art and architecture. How much do you want to pay? Ideally, zero dollars if possible. You gotta give me something for the ticket. Okay, one dollar. Okay, you wanna give me cash or put that on the card? Let's do cash. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're off. 50 cents per person. Wait, you can do that? Yeah, it's just the museum's not free. You gotta give me something for tickets. Oh, okay, gotcha. Well, that uh, was embarrassing, but guess who got tickets? Me. I got them for a dollar because she said you have to pay something, so technically it's not free, but I could have paid 50 cents or even one cent. But then she made me feel guilty. So I just, I just paid a dollar. I prefer the Met Museum over the Museum of Natural History because it has a lot of similar exhibits as the Natural History Museum with the added benefit of art and fashion. But the cool thing about the Met, in addition for it being pretty much free, is it's like you get to travel through the world as you explore the massive museum. Here we're in Egypt, and now we're in Rome. A Roman plaza filled with Greek and Roman statues. Absolutely stunning, right? Now you can spend hours in this museum. I don't have hours to spend here today because we are on to our next spot to get a cheap but delicious dinner. Come along. Okay, we are at Meiwa Fast Food in Chinatown, and this is a spot where you can get dinner for $7 or less. I couldn't believe it when I heard about it. Um, even though they say they're fast food, it's actually like, it's just quickly served. It's not like McDonald's fast food. It's higher quality than that. Let's go inside and get some. So this is kind of cool. Uh, it comes with free hot tea. So I didn't even need to buy a drink. That's great. I got the chicken leg over rice. So much food for $7. That looks nice. That's nice and juicy. Mmm. Really good. So okay, let's do this one. This is like a, it looks like a sour cabbage of some kind. Oh, I love that. This is good for $7. I mean, solid option if you're on a budget. They have all different things that are cheaper than $7, by the way. Everything, the highest price is like $8.25 for a full meal. And you can even get a whole bowl of soup for $2.75. And if you want to add an egg to this, it's only 50 more cents. So we are still under budget, so I'm gonna enjoy this. And then we're going to go to our final location, which is an amazing hack if you wanna to go to a rooftop bar. Just got out of that delicious Chinese dinner spot. Now we are headed to a rooftop bar for a happy hour special to get a drink for $5. By the way, we're here in, uh, I forgot to tell you where we are. We are here in Dumbo, Brooklyn, completely different borough. This is the New York way to cross. We just cross the road despite if it says you can go or not. 
If you can make it without getting hit by a car, you did it. And guess what? I did it. All right, but now I'm trapped in these bikes. So this whole area used to be old warehouses and now they've kind of changed it into a upscale boutique eatery called the Time Out Market. It has New York's best eateries all under one roof and a rooftop bar that has an amazing happy hour from four to seven, starting with $5 beers. So we're gonna do that and we're going to enjoy the Brooklyn Bridge views from their rooftop. Not to mention, like, if you want, you can just take a stroll along the waterfront here. Stunning. Should we do that? Not right now when it's 10 degrees. Okay, not now, not now. It's cold. All right, so to get to the rooftop bar, we're gonna go up. Uh, I think it's like the fourth floor. It's the only option in the elevator. We're gonna go up there. See the rooftop signs right here. Oh my God, they're having an ugly sweater party. And we got a free party out of this. Like, <laughs> you're welcome. Look at this. Wow. I mean, my sweater isn't that bad. Okay, Lucas. <laughs> Look at this. Happy hour, Monday to Friday, four to seven. You got $9 cocktails, $5 beer, $7 wine. We're gonna go with a $5 beer because that's within the budget today. We got the beer and the view for $5. I mean, really does it get better than this? This is why I love the timeout market. You have so many options. It's great if you're with friends and you're not really sure where you wanna eat. Not gonna fit in a $20 budget. Uh, most dishes here are like 15 bucks, but you can come to their happy hour and enjoy epic views of the Brooklyn Bridge here. Then we also have the Manhattan Bridge right over here, the Easter River. So this is perfect if it's warmer weather out. Today, it's literally below freezing temperature. So we're not gonna sit out here. But if you're coming here other times of year or you're okay sitting out in the cold for a little bit to enjoy a drink, you can perfectly enjoy this gorgeous view. And with that, you guys, it's time to tally up how much we spent today with this drink, added $5 to the total cost of what we already paid, and you come to $18.74. So I'm actually under budget. It's amazing to me because last time we did this challenge, it was $100 a day, and I actually went over budget for that. So look at this. Just give me 126, it'll be perfect for my budget. Oh, yeah, no problem, Lucas. <laughs> what are you gonna do with all that money here, 126? Hop the train. Hop the train, exactly. So what did we get for $18.74? Well, we did a tram ride, we did pizza, we did a Louis Vuitton exhibit, the Met Museum, we got dinner at a tasty Chinese restaurant, and we had drinks with an epic Brooklyn Bridge view. And with that, thanks so much for joining me today. If you like this video, give it a like. It really helps my channel get more exposure on YouTube. Follow me for more New York City tips, and I will see you next time. Bye.